I hate it. But they're gonna love that oh, first one. That's what they're saying now, Ray. It's it's already it's already me, it's already projected me, to fail. Uh, they're they're saying it's uh, it's gonna bomb hard. The creator. Give me eighteen Barbies until I hate them. I think the creator is gonna surprise people. I think it's going to be a good movie. The word is it's good, but the but the box office tracking is a, is apparently it's going to be a disaster. The grassy crazy, saw it. Crazy Joe, Crazy Joe. Look, Elemental bombed on opening weekend. Yeah, and I mean, it could have legs, dude. The grassy think... saw it. The grassy saw it, and he said that the hype is 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 actually uh, it's underhyped of how good this movie is. I think it's going to be a sleeper hit. I yeah, think it's gonna have just legs. like Elemental, it's going to have legs, and the buzz around nice. it, people are going to yeah. go. Hey, and I'll tell you what, I still feel like they showed too much in the trailer that like the mm -hmm. little kid yeah. is a thing. Like they, they gave away well, they have too to much. Get you some they had, they, they, that, I, I agree, but they get seeing that moment in the trailer, like, Ooh, that's, that's a Hulk that hoax. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. I guess they're using like the Logan template. I was actually very underwhelmed with the trailer. Wasn't even planning on seeing this, but the word of mouth of this is absolutely ridiculous. So I, I think the la the latest trailer is the one that I was like, okay, this is good. Cause for oh, me, I haven't I'm seen like, that one. Yeah. I'm looking at it and I'm going, okay, there's AI. All right, I get it. There's makes and, me, and then it makes some of it looks like hijack Gareth Edwards Star Wars movie, Rogue One. Even though I really like Rogue One and I, I love Tony Gilroy, I'm like, what could they have done if they just left them alone too? They well, said it was darker. I, well, it was also shot because he came from a background of handheld. Yeah. It was shot very saving private Ryan, all of the yeah. beach, the beach battle. But I like that beginning stuff with um What's her name? Erson, Jen Erso. Jen Erso. Yeah, but yeah, at the but, beginning, but the, I like that. The aesthetic didn't match the other Star Wars films, so it it looked too much like Saving Private Ryan. Okay. With with the the, the shaky can't can, can, yeah. and they were like, this doesn't look like everything's got to match, and that was a problem. Wasn't that his pitch like though? Of course it was. <laughs> and they still like no too much. Like, nah, you're like, you're oh. gonna do what we want to do, and that's <laughs> kind of how that went. But we didn't think we were to do Andor, it like that saving priority. And I, I think Joe, you're you're say uh what do you call Andor? Andor. Andor. And Sean, did you like Andor? No, you didn't uh, like it either. Listen, I it took like four episodes for me to get into it. Uh, listen, I and I've said this before, every single one of these streaming Star Wars shows should be cut down to a two hour movie. Every single one of them. Kenobi, all of them, tight two hours and be done with it. These television shows, they're dragging. Ahsoka drags. They hold on shots too long. The pacing was is terrible mm. on, on these episodes. And well, it go, that goes for the Marvel stuff, too. The pacing is awful. And it's because they have to drag it out to make these mm. artificial 28 minutes, 40 minutes, 42 minutes, 36 minutes. It's 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 a joke. Like, cut it down to two-hour well, movie it, and release it, a two-hour movie. It does movie. make you second-guess the industry too because they so frequently change it from a series to a movie and back to a series again consistently with they did that and with Obi Wan, they did that with Armor Wars, you know. Well, and, and they're like, oh now it's a movie. My my friend worked on Miss Marvel and now he's working on Armor Wars and it was supposed to be a series and they told yeah. him to hang tight. We're making it a movie uh because Don Cheadle wants his movie. He says I should have my own you know, war machine thing, you know, I've been in this too long. And they were like, yeah, that makes sense. And they're, they're starting to see that some of these things don't work if you drag them out. And so, yeah, I mean, I just, I, I'm, I'm, I haven't done one review on any of Ahsoka. I'm going to do one once the show's over and recap everything well, I feel about the show. Amazing fan edits like that. Obi-Wan fan edit. The uh, movie was I great. I haven't seen it yet. Is that the one, is that the, the new one with the guy who worked on Andor doing the CGI? I don't think so. Oh, dude, there's a guy who worked on Andor and did CGI on Andor who is recutting Kenobi and the stuff that he's put out, his little clips are light oh, years ahead yeah, you, of anything that to, they did. That to me I will. You get, Cause I want I to will. see that. I subscribe to his channel and it's amazing mm -hmm. of what he's doing. It's not the guy, the other guy that just cut it all down. Uh, this guy's actually recreating. He's shooting more material with people in, in stormtrooper costumes and all that kind of stuff against green screens, but he has all the bells and whistles to make the production value that a lot of these fan film people can't recreate when they try to do fan edits. So that's the one I'm waiting for Ooh. when it's finished. I just remembered. I think I put my bear in the freezer. I'll be right. Your bear, my what? beer, my beer. Oh, your beer. 
to get it cold for the stream, and then I forgot. That thing popped. It's gonna blow. Excited. Yeah, you you blew that one. I was more excited uh -huh. about a bear in the freezer. That would have been interesting. Right. Yeah, and, and, and Ander was actually thirteen episodes, not six. Yeah, I um, yeah, it was thirteen episodes, but that thing should have been cut down to two hours too. It would have been so. Much, I mean, I get it. They're just they're just dragging all these things out to get eyeballs to keep subscribed because you're either gonna you're either gonna subscribe and binge watch all of it and then dump the subscription, which is that's what they're trying not to do. That's why they've gone back to the television model of releasing one every week and mm -hmm. then alternating Marvel shows with Star Wars shows with whatever other content you know that particular network has like Disney Plus is to just keep people on that subscription. And I just think it sucks because it's really hurting Star Wars. Um, do I have any connections to writers on Loki? Uh, no, I have. I don't know right. anybody working on Loki. Nice and cold, real cold. It didn't explode. Uh, by the way, I love the um, the blockbuster video. Uh, oh, thank stuff. you. And I I watched earlier your VHS one. I was driving home the two hours from uh, seeing my stepdad and mm -hmm. saying goodbye. And I had you guys. I was watching some of the older stuff. Uh, and I saw Ooh. watching all the VHS. No, I'm too. I actually it's really do stuff. like VHS collecting. And uh, here's my. This yeah, was you... only released in Korea. Some of these late VHS are really they're really good covers. Yeah, I, I saw the three ten to Yuma that you had that was released oh, yeah. only in Korea. I was like, oh man, that's crazy that they were still cranking out VHS back then. So no, it does stuff. have the Korean titles that you can't get rid of subtitles, but it's still really good. Ah, eh, that's okay. It's still really cool collectible. I mean, I'm looking um, forward to seeing Godzilla minus one in the theater in December. Oh, yeah. And that's gonna be subtitled the whole movie. Yeah. So I'm I don't care. I I'm I'm fine with subtitles, you know. Yeah. Uh, 